uh, I'm, I'm a human being like everybody else, so I know that it's very difficult sometimes to create lifestyle changes or habit changes or mindset changes, you know? We as human beings are very uh, habitual animals, so we get really stuck in our ways, stuck in our routines. Um, there's even science that, like, you know, certain neural pathways in your brain get used to do certain things. And sometimes after a while, your brain um, carves little common walkways, if you will, right? And so it gets used to using a certain neural pathway in your brain, and that's the easiest way for electricity to move through your brain, so you end up doing the same things over anyways, right? Good morning. How you living today? How you living, gang? Yo, we back on live. Yo, happy vibe. You're away too. Appreciate you. Big smiles today, for sure. For sure. All the vibes. All the vibes. Um, we bring the lives back, man. You know me. Well, actually, a lot of you guys might not know me too well. I haven't, haven't seen some of you guys around. Work, work, work. I feel you. What you doing? Where are you working? Yeah, um, I'm big chilling today. We're uh, having a birthday party for my uh, sister-in-law. So I'm hanging out here in uh, Santa Maria. But yeah, I wanted to, a furniture store. Dope, dope. I could use some. I could use some. But, um. Um. Sorry, I was getting distracted by some messages that were coming up. So I wanted to bring back lives, you know? I was trying to do... Oh, it's your birthday today too, Jennifer. That's awesome. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy. Happy birthday. There you go. That's our happy jig for you today. For real, sending you all the best vibes, girl. We are, we are lucky to have you. At least I feel that way. Um, so, okay. Let me get down to the nitty gritty of it, for real. I want to bring back lives, you know? I was trying to do on Twitch. I was trying to get on Twitch for a while, and uh, and I still want to get on Twitch. I want to make um, I want to make that like a home. You know, I want to have like a, a a regular Twitch show. I actually think I'm going to get together with some of my friends and we're going to do a podcast, like a three man podcast type situation. But in the meantime, you know, sometimes I I really want to talk a, at a little more length than I get to in my stories. And so uh, I want to start coming back on lives so that I can do that, so I can, you know, talk a little more extendedly. And then I'll share them on, on my story as well, so they'll be there for 24 hours. The problem I used to not like about using Instagram was, um, you know, I was doing these entire long shows, you know, like half an hour long shows, hour long shows on Instagram. And then I've probably done what? Some of you guys know, I've probably done like 50 of those. And... Um, where are they now? You know, they're all gone. And so that was kind of messing with me. So I've been trying, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been trying to get my content situation squared up for a long time, right? Which is okay. You know, I think that too many times we put pressure on 1000%. And um, each one of those, you know, is a stepping stone, is a learning process. So anyways, point being is uh, I'm back on Instagram right now for, for the time being I'm gonna do it live it's not really like a show just like I said a, a little bit of um, extended conversation on certain things if you were watching my stories a couple of days ago you know I, st I wanted to talk about truth but truth is such a uh, intricate conversation you know what I mean it's such a in-depth topic that I couldn't really get it across the way I wanted to in four short stories so live you know so we live What's up, Lamont? I see you. Cantaloupe. Per per. Appreciate y'all. Um, but today, this is how you goal, I guess. <laughs> this is how you goal. I'm not going to talk about truth today. So, uh,. Lately, I put out on this thing on my stories. I saw I was asking people about what their aspirations are, right? Like pretty much what your your greatest achievement you're looking for in 2020 or 2021. You know, it could have been long term goal, short term goal, anything. You know, I just want to know what people out here what what y'all want to do. You know, so much about changing and growing our life or developing our life is first even knowing you know what it is that we want, <laughs> what we're trying to do, right? 
And so step one is you got to have some type of goals. And so I, I put that out there. Um, and I also offered help for anybody who wanted somebody to help them, um, you know, get along with their goals or execute. Uh, I'm, I'm a human being like everybody else, so I know that it's very difficult sometimes to create lifestyle changes or habit changes or mindset changes, you know? We as human beings are very uh, habitual animals, so we get really stuck in our ways, stuck in our routines. Um, there's even science that, like, you know, certain neural pathways in your brain get used to do certain things. And sometimes after a while, your brain um, carves little common walkways, if you will, right? And so it gets used to using a certain neural pathway in your brain, and that's the easiest way for electricity to move through your brain, so you end up doing the same things over anyways, right? Anyways, long story short is we build habits. And as a lot of anybody knows, if you built certain habits, that can be extremely hard to entrench, uh, untrench and change. But they can be changed. And uh, I've perfected a method of doing that for myself. And, and for a lot of, it seemed to be successful for a lot of people around me. Um, and it, 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 it involves like conditioning your spirit, your mind, and your body to be aligned with those things that you want or that person you want to be, right? Uh, it, it's like kind of a, a all-encompassing way of using the law of attraction to um, bring about these types of changes or bring about these types of experiences into your life through using your spirit, your mind, and your body energies, right? So either way, that's how I'm, that's how I'm trying to offer to help, you know, it's like through this. But the point is, the, the goals are beautiful, you know what I mean? I, I read the goals, but it's, it, I, I noticed some common, I don't want to call them mistakes, but just ways that you can help your goal setting process along, right? You know, let's start off like off get i wish that i would have pulled up this study before i got on here but um they did some studies of some college kids like stanford university kids like uh ivy league college kids and kids that wrote down goals had written goals compared to kids who were just there and had no goals whatsoever or were just there in the programs uh astronomical difference in success rate in those colleges right from the the, the kids who had clear well-defined goals to to ones that were just there um light years different i'm talking goal people way up here no goal people i don't i don't want to throw out bullshit numbers but nowhere close right so setting goals in the first place is such a fundamental part of the process you just cannot get somewhere if you don't know where you're going and so developing even that skill something as simple as um, knowing how to set the next step or knowing how to set the next intention is so important to attracting things into your life right and so uh I was reading some of you guys, you know, I was reading some of those and, and not just yours, the ones that you guys submitted just recently, but I've heard, you know, this is what I do. So I talk about this stuff a lot and I hear people constantly talk to me about their aspirations and their dreams. And I remember how I used to have mine. And so I want to give you two tips, right? Just two, two quick tips, all this long rambling for two quick tips um, of ways that you can kind of streamline that process, how you can make your goal setting process as efficient and as powerful as possible. Okay. So, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm smoking out here. I feel you. That's exactly what I need. Too many people want to just focus on one part and don't really. Yeah, how intertwined everything is. Exactly. I think that that's, that's totally true, too. People uh, try and take a very linear approach to the law of attraction, and, and it's not necessarily the case. You know, there's a lot of layers to this cake. Okay, so tip number one when you're setting a goal, right, in, in any type of goal, is you, you got to get specific, okay? You got to get specific. This is, um, this is just step one, numero uno. I used to say things like, I want to make a lot of money, or I want to get healthier, or I want to make a better life for me and my family, you know, this is a lot of times when you hear people throwing out their goals, they sound a lot like this. Uh, what are you, you going to do this year? I'm going to blow up. Um, that's great. You know, great. That's, that's beautiful. That's a great generalized goal of like, I'm heading in this direction. But um, I'm going to blow up doesn't really mean anything to yourself or to the universe. You know, it's really hard for the, the 
anything to materialize out of blow up because what exactly does that mean, right? And I always ask myself that question. Ask yourself that question. When you set a goal, what does that mean? You know, so if you say it out loud and you say, I want to be a healthier person. Okay, well, what does that mean? What does it mean to be a healthier person, right? Like, what is a healthier person than where you're at right now? Like, you really got to break that down into what specific daily habit or what actions are you taking or not taking that you don't want, you know what I mean, that you're trying to change, uh, because being a healthier person could mean um, instead of eating 20 cheeseburgers this week, I'll eat 15 cheeseburgers. Well, you're healthier, but that doesn't mean you're necessarily the healthy you're looking for, right? And you could be healthy in your body, like as in like I'm healthy and I have good stamina and endurance and energy, but um, still not look a certain type of way, you know? So healthy, right? can mean so many different things to so many different people. And you should really, for the sake of being able to start narrowing down what actions you need to take, you got to figure that out. Like what exactly the fuck am I talking about here? Um, you know, this year I want to raise my income by $25,000 a year or whatever, or I would like to get a raise for X amount of dollars an hour. Um, I would like to be able to right now, Sorry, uh, somebody showed up, I guess, the dog's doing a little thing, doing a little dance. But so you say you want to be healthier, right? So what does that mean? Like right now I can do 10 push-ups, but I'd like to be able to do 25 push-ups or I'd like to be able to do 100 push-ups or I would like to, you know, weigh this much or have these type of body measurements or to be able to have the endurance to play, you know, 200 rounds of tag with my kids anyway something that where it's like specific to you that you know exactly what it is that you're trying to accomplish because the better you know of of what it is that you're trying to do the better you can come up with some type of plan or scheme or, or information to get that done right am i just hiding in the shadow here can you all even see me i can't even see myself on this screen honestly so we got to, so you got to get specific, right? That's step one. That's step one. It's just going to be really tough to, like I said, create a plan. Like I said, in the end, the plans can be so different for, for those types of situations. If you want to get rich, right? And rich to you, if you started at $10,000 a year, uh, rich to you could be $100,000 a year. But if you're middle class or something, you've been used to making 125000 you want to get rich. Um, okay, I was good. Good, 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 good. Thanks, Lamont. Appreciate you, boy. Uh, if you, uh, you know, then, then you might be trying to get a milli, a 10 milli, you know what I mean? This is, this so fundamentally, this changed my whole process, y'all. This changed my whole process because I used to just really be like, I I want, dude, even to the point where once I started doing specific, like at first I thought I wanted $50 million. I was like, I want $50 million. Right. But even that was just, I was throwing out this generally large number so that it could encompass all the things I wanted in life, right? But what that shows you right off the get, just from the way that I say it, I didn't even know what I wanted out of life, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, $50 million, that way I can do anything and everything. Well, nobody is going to do anything and everything in their lifetime, right? I don't care how much money you have, you're not going to do it all. So what is it that you actually are trying to do out here in the world? Like, you want to buy an island or something or... Like, is that something you actually want to do? Like, I don't want to own no fucking island. That's way too much space, land, too much shit to deal with. You know what I mean? Like, what is it that you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what is it that you want? You want to buy a plane? Because did you know you could rent one for like a quarter of the price a year, right? Like, how many times a year do you actually think you're going to travel? Like, how many times do you really see yourself living out? You know what I mean? Like, really figure out. But people don't think about that. They're just like, dream life. You know, and the universe is just like, doesn't really know what to do with that. Cool. It's like, I get specific, okay? That's step one. Other thing, when we're talk- oh, we're talking about goaling. Yep, we're talking about setting these goals. We're talking about get. And, you know, I've had this conversation a couple times, but I just felt like maybe it was going to be um, in a, a great conversation from the type of goals that I was seeing people enter into my stories, you know? Um, and so I thought maybe this is just a way that I could blanket help everybody, you know, because some people put out goals out there, but didn't necessarily ask for my help, which is dope. You know, I get that. Like I, I'm working on things daily, you know, that I don't need no help with. Uh, but I just wanted to maybe just, you know, throw this out there so everybody can kind of get better at our goal setting process in general.